Alberto, there is much talk of refugees. What are they? Yes, it's a very, very important topic, but at the same time, there is some confusion about it. I've heard some friends, but also other people, talking about these eco-villages or about buying lands in uh, isolated tactical locations, possibly in the mountains, then stock up on food, water, medicines, buy some cattle and then bring the cattle to these places. It's not like that. The refugees are not physical places. If someone tries to build a protected area for his own survival, he's not gonna make it. This refugee is going to fall down, and I'll explain you why. Luz de Maria, 2019. Do not stockpile, listen carefully, food to be allocated to the places that someone has prepared for the times of persecution and tribulation. If you have not prepared yourself spiritually beforehand, foods, medicines, money, and all that you will stock up on will not do you any good if you are not real temples of love. Paratico, Apparitions, Brescia, 2001. How can you prepare the arts that I have asked you for if you are not first totally in the light and in the grace? If you create a refugee and get some supplies for your own survival, it may be considered an act of selfishness, so you stay in the dark, and the dark will not save you from the darkness of this world and of these times. If you get converted in a very real sense, this is works of charity for the needy, prayers, works of truth, charitable works for your neighbor, and you join other people in the light, then you are going to create a refugee of light. The refugees are pillars of light. They are places blessed by the light of Jesus Christ. Therefore, your very houses can be refugees. Carbonia, 2020. Through your prayers, they will seek help from you. They will knock on your doors and come to your houses those houses that they will put in your hands, my houses. That's to say, your houses will be Jesus' houses because they will be touched by the light of Jesus. My children, your houses will be points of light on this earth. They will come for you to ask you for a piece of bread to seek help. Trevignano Romano, Rome 2021. I will wrap you in my mantle and I will protect you. Your houses and refugees will be protected. I will guide to my refugees of those who will convert in that moment. Pay attention. When they will hear the shout of the Father and they will say trembling, Father, forgive me, because I have sinned, I bow to thee, I humble myself to thee, I am a sinner. Luther Maria, 2021. Every refuge of the Sacred Hearts, we welcome all of the people who have to get there. In the same way, the houses consecrated to the Sacred Hearts are and will be protected if you are living in the fulfillment of the Divine Will. Pay attention, the Ark is that one of the active prayer, action and love of neighbor. So, the refuges can be your houses. This message has reaffirmed what I said. That is, if there is prayer, active action, help for your neighbor, spreading the truth, so consecrate your houses to Jesus and uh, Mary and make them pillars of light. A few years ago, in San Bonico, Piacenza, in the place where I myself got converted, a lady made a witness. Every night in her house she sat in a chair to read books. Behind this chair there was a big heavy closet containing 
other books. One night, unlike the other times, instead of sitting on that chair to read, she sat in her own room, her bedroom. Precisely that night, the closet fell on the chair, destroying it. That's to say, this lady, this woman was in the light and then she dodged, she pulled away the negative event. Because, of course, if she stayed on that chair, the closet would fall on her head and she would come to a bad end. So, if you step into the light, you keep away negativity and misfortunes. It's like two magnets. When you turn them around, they repel each other. The same goes for these refugees of light. They will keep away negativity and misfortunes. The same applies also for the people who will step into the refugees. The people in the dark who will still live in the darkness will not be able to walk into these refugees because they will be pushed away from the light and to them some events will happen which are going to prevent them from getting into these protected places. In fact, in the messages I have just read, it's written that the people who will humble themselves, who will repent, therefore those who will pass from darkness to light, will be able to come into these places. The other ones will not make it. Carbonia 2020 None who is not in me will be able to enter them. I will be the one to decide those to whom I will open the doors of my refuges. When they will get close, it will not be you to open the doors, but me, the righteous judge. So, you can travel to the most remote places of this world, but if you don't get converted, you cannot enter them, and you will not save yourself. The refugees are pillars of light, so only people of light will enter them. It's a spiritual law, and there is no escape in it.